What is up, people? Today, we're diving into a bit more of the classes of Vera, talking about how Intrepid plans to handle the massive amount of classes, how exactly they will work, and how they plan to be balanced. But before we get into this, did you know that 82.4% of you watching this content aren't subscribed? This means you'll miss out on all of the great Ashes of Creation content, so do yourself a favor and click that subscribe button, and let's raise that 17.6% subscribed up to 20%. Ashes of Creation's planned class system is an absolute massive undertaking for any developers. The way it's going to work is you start out by selecting one of the eight primary archetypes. Fighter, Tank, Rogue, Ranger, Mage, Summoner, Cleric, and Bard. This archetype you've chosen from, like most other MMOs, is locked in. You can't change this part of your class, but when you get to a certain point in your progression, you then get to choose your secondary archetype, combining your primary and the secondary to to augment your abilities and really change up how your class is played. All of a sudden, turning these 8 classes into 64 total possible combinations. And your secondary one isn't locked either. This is something that you will be able to change, but the detail and frequency is currently unknown. So how exactly does Intrepid plan to handle such a massive undertaking with all of these classes? Well, for starters, let's talk about balancing. Class balancing in Ashes of Creation is going to be group focused and not in a 1v1 standpoint, meaning you will find yourself in 1v1 situations where one class will be superior to another. So for example, the chances of a bard who is designed around buffs probably won't hold up to that rogue whom is designed around damage dealing. There will be more of a primary focus on the main archetypes as well and not so much in the 64 total classes. Not to say that the classes won't be getting some love, but it's sounds as though the main archetypes will be more balanced than the combination combined with the secondary. Ashes of Creation is a game that seems to have a heavy group gameplay focus, which honestly is how an MMO should be. As I've said before, MMOs are meant to be social, but that doesn't mean you won't be finding solo content in Ashes, because there will be. But Intrepid would rather your massive raid be balanced with the right combination of people going up against another raid compared to going 1v1 with each other. All of this leads to the question though of why go with the 64 class system if there will be more of a primary focus on the main 8 archetypes. Well, that is because from the surface, yes, it looks like there are 64 classes, but ultimately those combinations beyond the 8 really aren't classes at all. They're just augmentations. Augments are what change these spells. When you combine the archetypes, they not only will change how your primary archetype spells work, but you can even change the visual appearance of these spells as well. Really allowing for a bit more customization to your character. These will be based on your level and skill points, allowing you to spec into different augmentations more suited for the build you're going for. But in the end, your mage will still be a mage at its core. This is something that really seems to get twisted through a lot of the content out there, and this was explained best back in the live stream in 2020. So um, yeah. that's, that's a really good point, right? Where we're not really talking about 64 true classes, we're talking about eight classes with 64 variants. Um, so like was said here, people tend to interpret this that there will be 64 unique classes that are all radically different from one another. Where realistically, that is not going to be the case and that would be an enormous feat that would push the development of the game back even further, especially when they haven't even gotten the combat down yet. You will still get some differences with these combinations and the combinations will change up how you play the class but it ultimately sounds like the main focus will be of those eight archetypes and the secondary archetypes are more of an expansion to the main archetype than a completely different feeling class. But we really won't be able to truly see how different they are with the archetypes until Alpha 2. There will be a bunch of players who will probably feel upset by this in a way because if you choose the bar not knowing that they are unbalanced compared to the others and find that out later down the road, you'll never stand a chance in single combat. Well, honestly, that could be irritating to some people, especially in a game that is PvP at its core. The game is balanced around large group content, but small group content still exists, such as arenas and caravans. These are small PvP objectives that you're really gonna have to pick and choose who you have in your party when doing these, or else you could potentially fail miserably. So it will be really interesting to see how this plays out in Alpha 2 and how the different classes end up being balanced toward the end of it. The archetypes will help alleviate it though a bit, although they won't 
drastically change the class, like I said earlier, they will be capable of bridging the gap in some cases with ability augments, giving some of those weaker 1v1 classes a better fighting chance depending on how you choose to combine the two. And for those of you who have played any MMO before, while the classes are really always getting tweaked, you never see a patch where they don't have some class changes and the class either gets nerfed or buffed. It's just an ongoing thing through the life of MMORPGs. So they will eventually get some love if they feel extremely unbalanced i guarantee it but anyways what are your thoughts on the 64 class system drop a comment down below and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to sign up using the referral link in the description below where you can make an account jump in on the forums and be ready to jump into the world of vera otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come